Hey folks, Lisa Ziegler coming to you here from my urban um, flower farm. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this evening I am going to be planting our little home cutting garden that we've been talking about. So tonight, and I'm actually going to be doing something I've never done before, <laughs> and I'm not going to be direct seeding, but I'm almost going to be direct seeding. So I'm going to pull this just a little bit closer. Um, so this little garden that we've been talking about, this is about the third, I think this is the second or the third um, Sunday evening we've been doing this. And so tonight's the night. The bed is built. We talked about that. And it's just been too cold. This is actually, we are planting one month later than we have ever planted in my 22 years of flower farming. So it's a little um, bit different. And because of that, um, we, you know, I'm always the gardener farmer that always starts my seeds indoors instead of planting seeds directly out in the garden. And um, so, so I noticed that somebody just said they couldn't hear. Can there, somebody else hear? Was that just a setting on her phone maybe? Hmm. So somebody else please chime in. Does anybody hear me? So, hi Kim. So does anybody hear me? Hello, hi Dana. No sound, Stephanie, hi. Huh. All right, y'all, let's see what the deal is. All right, stand by, y'all. Well, how about now? Do you hear me now? Okay, so she can hear. So I did have my volume turned down. Sorry about that, gang. So welcome, everybody. I am Lisa Mason Ziegler, and I'm coming to you here from my little urban flower farm in southeastern Virginia. And we've been um, all kind of sharing this time of planting a little home cutting garden and it's all based on our little seed collection which was a very popular Mother's Day gift this year and in this little seed collection that we've put together um, there is a diagram on the back and it has six packs of my favorite workhorse seeds and so I always choose to start seeds indoors whenever given that opportunity and so this year because of this really late start in the season, we're actually planting one month later than we normally do. So we really kind of trashed a lot of our transplants because they just got too big and ugly to be able to be planted in the garden. Well, they could have been planted, but I know that when you plant unhealthy transplants, it is just not gonna be a good season. So I'm doing something a little different here. So when we couldn't plant see last weekend we had thought we would be planting this on um, live on facebook well we had two nights last week that were almost below freezing so obviously i could not plant my warm season tender annuals so i made the decision that last monday let's see what date it was this past monday which was may 12th i restarted all the seeds again and y'all I just can't believe how wonderful they've done so they're still a little teeny but look at these these are the zinnias this is the Oklahoma from the seed mix and here I'm just gonna show you a couple of them here is the basil and these are let they will be a week old tomorrow right so these are really really teeny so in a normal world and there's the coxcomb that is literally you know, seven days old or actually six days old, right? So in a normal season, those would grow for another two or three weeks before we um, put them out into the garden. And, but this, because of a little special circumstance that we have coming up, this whole next week, we are supposed to, um, get like I think it's five or six days of on and off rain which meant which, which kind of set off a little trigger in my mind that guess what we're planting tonight y'all I am planting these just born babies out in this garden well actually we're gonna plant them together and I just wanted to share that this is just one more reason why I absolutely adore soil blocks 
because if these, I'm trying to pull it apart without croaking it, if these little basils were in a cell pack or in a plug tray, you could not pick them up and handle them like I am handling this little guy, right? And so you could never plant them, but I can easily plant this little fella. I'm trying to figure out where the camera is, there we go. See how little he is? And let me just show you a couple others, and then I'm gonna show you what I would normally. So these are the Oklahoma zinnias, and let me break one apart here. I didn't water these because I wanted them to be a little firm. So there you go. He is six days old and um, looking beautiful as ever. Now, if the rain wasn't coming, I would be inclined not to do what we're getting ready to do because I'm not a good waterer. And when you would set out these little teeny transplants in the kind of hot afternoons that we're having now, um, they could really dry out really, really quickly. And I just know in the big picture of scheme things here on our farm um, and the busyness of things that I would never get back to them. So we're gonna plant them. But what I did wanna show you, this is the size we would normally be planting. Let me move these guys out of the way. So these are coxcombs that are the proper size to be planted. And I actually um, stole these from one of our commercial trays. So this is a little coxcomb, perfect. Look at those little beautiful roots. And I wonder if I can get that to focus better. Sorry, y'all. Um, so I do have a backup if my little teeny weeny ones don't make it but I think with this weather coming. Um, and so the real gift of doing this, if you're just planting seeds out in your garden and all of the seeds in the seed collection, by the way, I have put the link on the top of this feed for the seed collection that I'm planting. If you just direct seeded straight into the soil, it, you're still gonna look, you're looking at another seven to 14 days to get them to the size that these little guys already are at six days because they were on a seedling heat mat or actually in a germination chamber, which is just a bigger heat mat with a little steam thrown in. Um, they were in a germination chamber, then they were in a warm room for two days. So they've got like Florida weather, even though we're here in Virginia, and that's what's boosted them. So if you direct seed at this point in time, you just have to know that you're gonna be two to three weeks behind. And that's just another great reason why we always choose to start indoors, just to get our flowers as early as possible. So y'all, the so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be not the greatest. Um, I, don't, I don't have a camera person, you know that. Um, so I am going to first, I'm gonna put my gloves on. I worked earlier today in the dirt with no gloves on, and now my finger, the skin around my fingernails is so dirty, it just annoys me when I do that. Um, Cause I have meetings tomorrow with non-farm and garden people, and it just means a lot of work to get my hands clean. All right, so I'm gonna take you over, and I wanna show you, so just a little revamp. So I've built these standalone beds. This garden is only three by 10 feet, in my application here, I have actually split this little 10 foot garden right down the middle. So I have a three by five and a three by five that's here in front of this sweet little building, which you'll see it in just a minute when I jump back for y'all to see the big picture. Um, where I built these beds, there was no bed. I put down one big sheet of cardboard and then I emptied every container that I had on this farm that I was not planting on, planting on planting this season. Then I threw in a little bit of extra garden soil. I had some leftover peat moss and I just made this super duper nice soil. I put in the crab and lobster um, organic dry fertilizer that's mixed in. And um, you'll see, I've got a border around the bed out of some of my rocks. And my little weed eating person is gonna weed eat around these rocks. And we're gonna grow, plant and grow this little garden together. So it's gonna really be a lot of fun. And the photo that is on this event, not in this particular feed, um, but the photo that, y'all, I'm getting cold. I put my coat on earlier when I came out here, um, and then I got warm, but I'm feeling a little chilly again. Um, the photo that I used to promote this little Sunday evening, seven o'clock Facebook, 
is this um, is a really famous photograph. It's been on in magazines. It's been on the cover of a couple of books. Um, it's really gotten around. So we're trying to recreate that. We thought it was finally time. Um, all right. So all right, I'm cool now. Um, so we're going to recreate this. So these beds that you're about to look at, I'm just going to stand up and carry this with me for right now. And I'm just going to come out here and turn this around so you guys can see what we're looking at here. And of course, I got to take my gloves off, y'all. Stand by. Look at the ground while I take this glove off. Usually new gloves work with the phone. All right. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm backing up and trying not to fall. Wouldn't that be, that'd be kind of, that'd be like the maximum blooper. All right, so there you go, folks. So those, these are the two beds. There's my watering can. And you're going to see what all that white flower is about there. Um, but this little cutting garden is going to be spectacular in front of this building again, right? I mean, I think that, um, cutting garden I'm trying to think back I think that was like 2008 um, and I'll tell y'all a really funny story um, when that photo was taken if you look at if you scroll back on our Facebook feed to past events and look at that photo I want you to look at the sunflowers and I don't know if you've ever grown sunflowers or not but how sunflowers follow the Sun right well, when the photo shoot, when Country Garden Magazines came here shoot, that was in 08 or 09 or 10 or sometime, a long time ago, we had been working for months to get ready for them. They came and spent three days here, right? So they get here. The garden is beautiful, this little garden here, and the rest of our big gardens was beautiful for them. And it was three people, the photographer, the garden writer, and then the producer of the magazine um, for that article. So you have three people that are here, and I could tell there was something wrong. They were like powwowing over here. And I just, I knew something was wrong. I just went over and said, all right, lay it on me. What is the problem? And they said, you don't see it, y'all all the sunflowers. So they're standing here looking at the building like you and I are right now, right? all the sunflowers were facing the building. I hadn't even noticed. So we were looking at the back of all the sunflowers. So I want you to go and find that photo and have a look because all of those sunflowers that you see in that photo are cut and Velcroed in place. Moral to this story, do not trust any photo you ever see because it is not what it appears a lot of the time. Anyway, haven't told that story in a long time. So, two three by five beds, and let me grab the seed collection, and because I'm gonna show you what I've done, I don't know about you, but I am like the worst for, um, not, so here is the diagram, right? And so we have split it right down the middle, and well, I'm trying to back up enough, darn. So we're split right down the middle and we have it on each side. So I have used flour to actually lay out the diagram so I don't screw it up. I'm gonna actually lay this on the ground and y'all, I'm just gonna have to lose this glove and I'm taking you off the stand. I'm gonna have to hold you in my hand. You know, if there was enough time in the day for me to figure out what we needed to get for me to be able to do this better, we'd do it. But life is full right now and I'm taking my other glove off all right I'm trying to see where my buttons are so I don't turn you off so that is nothing but flower y'all so this is my basil what is the diagram that's the Oklahoma zinnias that's where the sunflowers are going and this is what is this, this is all coxcomb over here and um, over on this side is the rest of the stuff. So this is the lime green z My feed just said poor connection. Y'all stand by for just a minute. Circling me. We're almost done. And then I'm, I want to take you inside just for a brief peek. Let me pull this apart. Suzanne made bouquets 
for my delivery in the morning and they are so gorgeous y'all i've just got to show you the containers all right let me move this and make sure i'm not forgetting somewhere here so this is can't wait for you to see this one next week all right we need one more oh i want that one that one right there yep good little root and he's going right there and all right so i'm going to put these up here and let me i'm just gonna pick up all of these because if the dog comes out anything on the ground of course is his that's the rule so if you have anything you don't want the dog to have you better not leave it on the ground and here's the catalog so that's the sunflower we just planted that's called white knight that is not the one that's in the seed collection the seed collection has um the orange the standard that we grow but i just thought i would mix it up a little bit so i'm just gonna because it's gonna start raining during the night i'm really not watering this deeply at all i'm just giving everybody a little reassurance that all is going to be well and so the flower will just go away let's do it over here especially for these little plants and i am going to get um a row cover which is in the end that's right here why would i not put a row cover over this um that is the story so i'm not real worried about not watering thoroughly because it is literally going to start raining tonight so folks look at that little garden and those little teeny plants are teeny, but they are going to just take off in no time. And so the seed collection, um, and I'm going to answer this question before it gets asked. No, it is not too late. Um, that's one of my purposes of doing these Facebook Lives, um, talking about this kind of stuff. We continue to plant all the plants that are in this collection three to four times during the summer. Our last ones are going in in late July. So you have plenty of time to get this garden in. And in fact, a lot of people will be planting this all over again in about six weeks just to extend their, their harvest. So thegardenersworkshop.com, I did put the link at the top of this feed that I'm backing up so you can see the, the whole picture. And um, I want you to go back and find the event for this the Facebook event on our Facebook page and see this garden from like eight years ago that's what we're recreating here um, and it's really gonna be a lot of fun It's so easy and we're gonna go through this together cutting it each week once it gets big next we'll be mulching it and netting it watching it grow feeding it um, protecting it from bunnies together and then we'll be cutting it so I can't wait to do that together but before I let you off here, let us, I'm gonna walk into the building and just let y'all see the absolutely gorgeous bouquets that I'm delivering in the morning. Um, our bouquet subscriptions, they're sold out. All of our flowers are sold out. Um, so here's all of our sunflowers. And there's our big garden out there. Don't look at the houses. But looky here. These bouquets are scrumptious, y'all. So they're in plastic Percona boxes, is what they're called. I think there's four bouquets in each box. These are all cool flowers, with the exception of a, an occasional peony and now today was our first sunflower cut. That's the orange. Look at the, that is um, golden drumstick, billy balls. They're just, they're just, I mean, I could just lay in here with them. They're just gorgeous. Look at this one. Look at this Madam Butterfly. I do not know why I keep losing internet.
Hmm. So these will be delivered tomorrow. This is for one of our little special friends. And that's for a 60-second anniversary, one of our good friends. And um, so, gang, we planted the cutting garden. All the um, information is on the link. Check it out. And um, just check out thegardenersworkshop.com if you're looking more. And I actually have an online course called the Easy Cut Flower Garden that takes you through the whole process of starting the seeds and planting and, um, and going on. So, till we meet again. Ciao.